In this video, we take you to a restaurant that fuses two cultures, Mexican and Filipino food, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are trying Mexipino Craft Restaurant here in Chula Vista off of Main Street and Broadway. It's the mixing of two predominant cultures here in San Diego, Mexican and Filipino food. The owner is actually Mexipino as well. And here in San Diego, you'll find a lot of mixing of the Mexican and Filipino cultures. We're gonna go inside, try out a few of their amazing dishes. They're very unique. You know they got some of that ube. And we're also going to talk to a representative in here about Mexipino craft. Now if you look at their brunch menu, they have the magandang umaga, which means good morning in Tagalog. They have a good morning classic. They have buenos dias, which is good morning in Spanish. They also have tortas, rice bowls. Ooh, and it looks really good. Calamansi mint. I was told that this place used to actually originally be a juice bar, and they do have really nice juices over here. They have a calamansi mint here. Fairly inexpensive. It's only about $2.95. You get a nice mint leaf on the top. I love calamansi. We have a calamansi tree in our backyard in Mira Mesa. In the Philippines, I'm always drinking either mango juice or calamansi juice. Oh yeah, that's tasty. Brings me back to Tagaytay, having this over at one of the restaurants there. For those of you that don't know what calamansi is, it's like a little small green lemon ball, lime ball. You put it in patis, we put it in soups like nilaga. You sprinkle calamansi on pancit. It's a common used fruit. I believe calamansi is a fruit. Comment down below, is calamansi a fruit? So good. I am with the marketing manager, James Wolf of Mexipino Craft. How are you doing today, man? Good, good, man. How are you doing? Doing well. I'm excited awesome. to try some of your uh, fusion Filipino-Mexican food. Awesome. We like to call it like cultural heritage fusion, which uh, it's a part of being Mexican and Filipino, of the owner that's Mexican uh -huh. Filipino because his parents are Mexican Filipinos, mother Mexican, dad are Filipino. He grew up with all this uh, uh, cultural food, you know? Like you have the Mexican side of plates and you have the Filipino side of plates. And he, when he grew up, he's brought out this business that he started as a juice bar, right? It, just typical juices, uh, uh -huh. tortas, sandwiches. But it was not like what he was expecting or looking for. He thought like, you know what? Why not mix food? Like nice. real, real food, like make it a restaurant and try something different. Like I'm Mexican and I'm Filipino. So why not try to do something about that? So he and his ex-partner came up with this idea of bringing something of both cultures into one and the best way possible, that's food. All the food is infused with some Mexican or Filipino either ingredients, seasons, uh, sausages. I mean, you nice. know it. And he still has the O to the juice bar because we have the calamansi. Yeah. We have the calamansi mint, mint. we have the cucumber spinach, we have the strawberry, and all of our drinks are always freshly uh, Freshly made, which also gives us like an advantage, not the typical powder stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Pandemic like really hit us like harsh. We're old school. Uh -huh. our, our main thing is the food and the people. Not a better place to have it than in Chula Vista, where there's a huge concentration of Filipino and Mexican and Mexicans, yeah. populations. So. I mean, you have the, the constant flow. I mean, we're in a situated in a good area. We have free parking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody likes. Our main customers are yeah mainly Filipino and Mexicans, but we also also try to invite all of the other people yep. like uh, either you're Indian, either you're black, either you're whatever you are, you're people you like to eat, come and eat because we have something for everybody. Everybody loves chilaquiles. Exactly. You know? Oh yeah, they, chilaquiles they, 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 are... are a must. Everybody likes waffles, everybody loves pancakes. We have all that, but we have it our style. We have the Tortuga Ninja uh -huh. and that's like a, a big uh, torta. Nice. And I'm excited to try out what, uh, what you're about to bring awesome. out. I'm about to bring it. so. Hopefully you're you're starving, man. Ready to go, James. <laughs> All right, ready on. as I'll ever be. That's a giant bag of head. That's huge. Right, huh? <laughs> There's a waffle in the back of the James, so you brought me an amazing spread. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna have to okay. take this home, some of it at least. Oh yeah, you're probably gonna take everything home. <laughs> what are we uh, starting with? This side we have uh, 
the Mexipino hash blade, basically a bed of ha uh, has potatoes, right? With all the garnish on the top that has some chicken achiote, it has spam, it has ham, it has bacon, it has uh, ube uh, pieces on it. It has the black beans, the queso fresco. We have the uh, sunny side up eggs, the avocado on the side, garnish with a, a little bit of orange slice just to make it like flirty and cocaceous. We have the uh, huge ube pancake that <laughs> nobody can Yeah, you're not messing that. around, yeah, man. Yeah, this is like not small. It's like pancake. a pizza pancake already. Yeah, probably like a, a big Domino's pizza, but better That's because awesome. it's a pancake. And it's with the ube spam like all around. Yeah, you got the ube halayat. That's... Yeah, people love ube. Yeah, we have the also the adobo chicken and waffles. It's our style of uh, uh, fried chicken uh, with adobo seasoning uh, for the whole night and just a Belgian waffle on the bottom, which is awesome with it. And we also have like uh, our traditional Filipino base of uh, garlic rice with a uh, top with uh, eggs, chicken tocino and this uh, plate, uh, sun and tomatoes. We also have different variety. I mean, it's for the people just to come here, try out all the dishes or whichever they can try and eat. That's awesome. We're gonna try to dig in and Being get to tasting. Man. Awesome. Thanks, man. Cool. Appreciate it. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing. I have a ton of San Diego and Filipino content to come. It is Filipino American History Month in October of 2022. And we're highlighting all the small businesses around San Diego that feature Filipino cuisine and Mexipino craft. It was the perfect one to start it off with. We're gonna try out this ube purple yam jam pancake. I love that they put the flour and the mint leaves here. Tons of butter, specks of ube all over this giant pancake. This is, I've never seen a pancake this huge. We're gonna cut this up like a pizza here. Get some of that pancake syrup right here. Look at that. I love the chunks of ube on this. You can get your classic buttermilk pancake, but with the ube halaya mixed together in it. It's good. You know, sometimes you'll get ube that's already, it makes the pancake purple all over. And then you also have your ube mochi pancakes from Trader Joe's, but nothing beats having huge globs of ube on a buttermilk pancake. That is really good, really unique. Mm, wow, now that's a real pancake right there. Mmm, got your powdered sugar. Now that is an amazing start to a breakfast here at Mexipino Craft. Next, we are trying the Mexipino, which is basically like a morning hash. I'm a tapatio guy, so I'll put some tapatio on here. We'll mix it all up. Get some of those potatoes. Gotta get some avocado in it. All right, we also gotta find some of the meats. Let's get that chicken in here. All right, here we go, cheers. Oh yeah, you get that nice morning mix of Mexican slash Filipino flavors. You can taste the ube mixed with their chicken. Kind of got like a little barbecue charred taste to the chicken. It is good. Mmm, so many different textures. You got meat, you got ube, you got avocado, egg, rice, beans. Truly a Mexipino dish right here. Mmm, oh yeah, the beans is a nice, nice tip to it. Oh yeah, you can go all day with these. Just loving the purple yam mixed in. Right, well, Man, now we're gonna get to this beast right here. <laughs> Good. I was feeling the uh, Mexipino. That's a uh, you, you the the, perfect mix, man. Like the culture inside your mouth. Yeah, I felt it, man. I felt <laughs> it. Breakfast and everything. It's like half Philippines, half being here in San Diego. And, yeah, you know, we're fresh, I, different than the typical like burger or taco that mm -hmm. you just have anywhere. Yeah, that's that would be my go-to. Oh and that's also really good. I just love the globs of, uh, of, the, ube. of the ube. If you bring your like, uh, family, kids. They'll love it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Tell them like, we're gonna get you a pancake. Ah, we got pancakes at home. No, 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 just wait for it. Wait, wait till you see that one. Yeah. The best thing about this is that when you give it to your customers, and I mean, they see that it says giant pancake, uh -huh. and then they bring you that, they, their face like, what Whoa. did I just Order, yeah. man. What did I just have here? And yeah, they're gonna eat pancakes like, like for the whole. It's week. almost eating it like a pizza, yeah. basically. You just gotta cut them in like. Yeah, triangles, <laughs> squares. That's awesome. You want, if you want to wrap it up, do it a burrito pancake. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. There it is. Go ahead, eat it up. Let me go ahead and check in the kitchen. All right. We'll Thanks, man. Yeah.
All right, so we have the adobo chicken and waffles. This is their take on adobo fried chicken. Nice huge piece of crunchy chicken on top of a huge Belgian waffle. We got orange slices and powdered sugar. Let's dig in. Gotta get everything here, right? Can't just have the chicken. And of course, we're gonna put some tapatio on there. Mm. Oh yeah, this chicken hits different. It does have a nice adobo flavor to it. It's nice and juicy. You can cut right into it. And then the waffle in the bottom, you have a little bit of the powdered sugar. You know what, we're gonna have to put some syrup on here too. Can't have chicken and waffles without syrup. Who does chicken and waffles with their syrup? Comment down below. Mm. Roscoe's chicken and waffles, you better watch out. This one has it. This one is it right here. Wow, there you go. That is just a mountainous beast of chicken. Man, look at that. I just barely dented the front wall right here. That's another winner right here. The next bowl is literally good morning in Tagalog, magandang umaga. This looks like a bowl that needs to be paid attention to. Let's grab some of the eggs here, get some of that yolk running. Oh yeah, get some of that rice too in the inside. Cheers, guys. Mmm. I love the yolk on top of rice in the morning. This chicken tocino is just perfect. Perfect complement to it. You get a taste of the char barbecue type feel, Filipino Mexican style. Let's try these tomatoes. Mm. Oh yeah, these tomatoes have a pretty unique taste to them too. Wow, I already know I'm having a magandang umaga after having this bowl. Thumbs up. Shout out to Nestor and his family and XL Baseball. Yeah, they just ate here at Mexipino, so shout out to you guys. <laughs> I'm stuffed, guys, so I'm gonna be taking this home. I enjoyed it all, to tell you the truth. If I were to come here, my go-to would definitely be this right here, the Mexipino, this huge skillet. It's just full of Mexican, Filipino goodness. I love the touch of ube and the avocado. I'm, I'm an avocado guy for sure. But this pancake, kids would love this pancake. It looks like a pizza. Blobs of ube and then the chicken and waffles. The adobo, chicken, yes sir. Forget Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Come down to San Diego and try this. You also got the magandang umaga, which will take you back. You know, it's got a mix of the Filipino barbecue taste and some Mexican barbecue taste. Loving it. All right, James, so that was amazing. That ube pancake was the enormous. Are, yeah, we're open every day from uh, 8, 3 in the morning until like 3 in the afternoon for now. Probably we're gonna do some changes probably in the future. Add some stuff to the menu like any other restaurants. We try to uh, innovate our style, right? Maybe a mimosa this time, but a Mexican, Filipino, Mexicano mimosas. We're gonna see how we do that. But you can follow us in social media, so you can actually check all of the promos, all of the offers that we have, like constantly food, Mexicano craft, and on Instagram and Mexicano craft restaurant or our website mexicanocraft.com. Right now, we have two offers to all of the people that want to uh, come by and try it out. We have uh, on the weekends we have the tortas, NFL tortas. That's basically like a big, big tor tortuga ninja uh -huh. with fries and a drink for 20 bucks. Or you, uh, during the weekdays, we have free refills. The only thing that you need to do is just follow us on social media, tag us in a post, hashtag Mexican Craft. That's it, you get a free drink. Easy enough. Easy peasy, man. Yeah. And uh, I appreciate your hospitality, and yeah, everybody go check out Mexipino Craft. Cool. Appreciate it, man. Later. If you guys like this video on Mexipino Craft Restaurant, check this one out on Filipino food around San Diego. Please like this video, subscribe. We're trying to get to 100K, and check out It's Always Sunny in San Diego. It's my Facebook group that talks about tips and recommendations around town. And we'll see you in the next one, Jaycationers. And in the words of me, stay traveling, San Diego. Mabuhay. Adios. Uh -huh.